Come on, big companies. Make the holiday cookies we all want to eat. No, let Trader Joe's have their shine. They filled the demand, let Trader Joe's reap the benefits. They did. Welcome back everyone, it's still Vlogmas and Jeff and I are now on our way to Trader Joe's to buy all of their holiday things because we're gonna do a Trader Joe's holiday taste test. They have a lot of stuff though, so we're probably not gonna buy everything. I think what we're gonna do is each of us is gonna pick out a certain number of things and then we're gonna taste them all and tell you how they are. I can't pull out yet though because Jeff is putting the registration sticker on the back of the car and he's not quite done yet, so I've gotta wait for him to do that and then we'll be on our way. Look at this gigantic bunch of, how many bananas is that? I seven? think it's seven. Yeah, it's pretty big. A giant bunch of bananas. <laughs> we're trying to do some other grocery shopping while we're here. <laughs> because why go to the grocery store twice in yeah. a pandemic? You need uh, bread. I think we've got some for your sandwiches, but is there any that looks like holiday bread? Searching for the eggnog. They've got to have it, right? So I think the candy cane JoJo's are pretty popular because they're all the way to the back. Ooh, dark chocolate stars. Ooh, shortbread, my favorite. We did it. In and out in 30 minutes? Yeah, about. So. The Trader Joe's in Chapel Hill is really good. It is, yeah. It's uh, not crowded right now either because this is a college town. <laughs> and they're all gone right now. Yeah, not very. So, a bunch of people. we have a good <laughs> bunch of mix of stuff <laughs> to, to show you guys. All right, so one of the things that we always get, this is one of our, this is probably our favorite seasonal thing, wouldn't you say? The cheese, it's yeah. definitely my favorite cheese by far. This is the white Stilton with cranberries. They always have a white Stilton with some sort of dried fruit in it, but the cranberry version is only holiday, which is devastating because it's the best one. So I'm gonna cut that up and then we're gonna try it. It's a very crumbly cheese. I feel like cutting it is just yeah. a formality. You, if you gotta cut it into the pieces, but it is so crumbly. If you wanted to just take chunks off, you could. Sure, you don't wanna taste it right now? I'm just showing how I'm cutting it. Okay, we're not tasting it yet, don't worry. This piece, it's kind of ugly inside the thing, so I'm gonna get it out of there. So one of the things we've never tried before are these camembert cheese with cranberry sauce phyllo bites. So we've gotta pop these in the oven while we're tasting the other stuff, but then we'll try these. I think it'll be nice to have like a hot snack. I think so, I'm excited about it. Okay, so let's put these out. They look good, but there's not that many of them in here. Come on, Trader Joe's, you could have fit two more. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty weak. So they do have phyllo dough as and like pastry dough as part of their holiday range that they don't normally have. So my suggestion, and I know they have holiday camembert as well. So instead of buying these, you could just make them yourself since you'd get more than eight probably. <laughs> like I have a feeling we're just gonna devour these in five seconds. Yeah. Because I love a crunchy pastry. <laughs> Are you starting the taste test too early? No. No way, not me. So we have grabbed <laughs> a million of Trader Joe's holiday items to try. We're doing a little taste test. Yep, we haven't started at all. <laughs> Jeff's already started with the cranberry Stilton cheese, which I have a feeling, since it's our favorite, that we will be pecking at for the next little bit. But first thing we have, oh, thank you. The gingerbread coffee. I have been burned by Trader Joe's flavored coffees in the past. Their yeah. pumpkin spice coffee is not good. We did not it's like it at all. not good. Um, <laughs> we should have liked it. But let's we try this one. It smells good. It actually kind of reminds me of the pumpkin spice one. I hope it's not bad like that. <laughs> it does have like a lot of the cinnamon. But I know. Cinnamon's not the flavor that we didn't like. I don't know what it was. It was like the there, mix, but... yeah. 
Oh, this one's much better. This is actually good. Okay. It tastes a lot like gingerbread. <laughs> this one is actually delicious. So, go gingerbread coffee. It doesn't really taste like super gingerbready. I don't think. I think it? it has a lot of the flavors. I think you definitely. Oh, you can tell it's gingerbread. You for can sure. tell it's gingerbread. Yeah. I like it. All right. All right. Next, Next up. thing was the cocoa peppermint flavored almond creamer. So this is a non-dairy creamer that's basically made out of water, sugar, and chocolate syrup. <laughs> it <laughs> sounds good. And almonds. <laughs> but it's like a peppermint mocha coffee creamer. So We normally drink our coffee black, so but, uh, Ooh, we so obviously good. couldn't pass up with this. Yeah. Smells pretty good. Now, I would probably like to try this in regular coffee, but this is the coffee we have, and we weren't going to have two cups apiece, so. <laughs> Not back to back. Not while Jeff's home watching me. That's <laughs> good. Whoa. It doesn't look like it stirs, like it mixes very well right off the bat. It looks like you have to stir it. I'm going to get a spoon. Okay. <laughs> tasting it without me, you're testing the tastes without me. <laughs> very tasty. Yeah, when you stir it, it goes right in, but it somehow like sinks below the coffee before you stir it. That's weird. Okay. It's really good. Yep, tastes like it's made out of water, little, sugar, and chocolate syrup. Yeah. I was <laughs> a little really worried, good. you know, do, am I going to like peppermint with gingerbread, but I do. I think this would be good in any kind of coffee you've got. <laughs> Probably, so. yeah. Judging from the ingredients. Two thumbs up. This was one thumb up. If you like gingerbread, you'll like this. Yeah. This was when you go there, get it. Definitely. Get it. <laughs> it's it delicious. Really good. So next is the eggnog. So we'll each have a couple drinks to sample our snacks with. Okay. okay. It might be good to dip some of these cookies in eggnog. Whoa. This is a very yellow eggnog. You, if you don't like eggnog. Bit. Yeah, I did. Okay. If you don't like eggnog, don't get this. Don't say I don't like eggnog and then get it and then hate it. If you don't like eggnog, it's eggnog. Sorry. <laughs> Smells good. It's really good. It's pretty tasty. I'm going to go with some sacrilege here. If you're from North Carolina, don't find me. I think I like this better than the Maple View eggnog. What? Maybe. I'd have to taste them next to each other. Maybe in another video. Another Vlogmas <laughs> video taste testing other <laughs> eggnogs. Okay, so what can you reach? We have a lot of cookies. Oh, this is basically a cookie palooza. The cheese that I totally have not tried yet. Yeah, he These crackers are totally not missing. That's just how small the package is. <laughs> so <laughs> here, show the cracker box. This, these are crackers that they always yeah, have. Everyone's seen this. Yeah, you guys have seen these. The sorted crackers, just... They get them. Get They're them and be done good with for it. parties. <laughs> it's a big get box. Be done with it. You're a real influencer, Jeff. <laughs> Okay, so this is the white Stilton with cranberries. So the background on this, I'm not a big cheese guy. I like cheese. I like cheese on my burgers, stuff like that. But I usually don't like cheese like this. But He's the, not a cheese platter guy. But the it's Stilton, like, definitely. I love the Stilton. Even the other one with the, um, what's the fruits that are in it? It's about now. ginger. Is it yeah. apricots? Apricots, it's, yes. It's apricots, yep. And I even like that one. But this cranberry one that they have during the holidays, I can't stop eating it. I love this. So yeah, for this product, the cranberry one is only available during the holidays. Unfortunately, it's also the best version of this that they have. But throughout the year, they have an apricot one and a mango ginger one in the summer, I think. Mm -hmm. But the cranberry one is the best one of all of them. And like Jeff said, he's not a cheese platter guy. Like, you know how everyone in our generation is going crazy for charcuterie? Not him. Yeah. Except for this cheese. Unless it has this cheese on it, I will definitely eat it. So it's that good. This is also two thumbs up from both people. So it's four thumbs up. The next thing, now that we've decided we're actually going to taste test the food we bought for the taste test, are these candy cane chocolate covered almonds. Roasted almonds dipped in dark chocolate, then enrobed in white chocolate and covered with candy cane bits. So it's dark chocolate and white chocolate with candy cane pieces. So let's bust these guys out. I normally wouldn't buy something like this at the store, I think. Yeah, probably not. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're very minty, though. Mm -hmm. They remind me of those, like, after-dinner minutes. 
They're very, very minty. If you don't like peppermint bark, don't get these. It's not just a hint of peppermint. It's mostly peppermint flavor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they are really good. Yeah, I expected more almond flavor. I expected more chocolate. Unexpected, yeah, but very good. Yep. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? Next, we have the salty honey toffee milk chocolate covered crackers. So this is like a candy more than a cookie, I think. There's not that many in here. I will say I took a peek at them because I was really excited about these and there's only this many. So again, if you like making desserts, maybe you can make something like this yourself. I think this might be their version of like Christmas crack. You know what I'm talking about with the Ritz crackers and the- Never had it. Looks good. Yeah, they do look delicious. Look at these things. I mean, these look like yeah, chocolate just, shop toffees. It's just a candy, yeah. I like them. Mm -hmm. I like toffees, though. I expected the toffee to be in the middle. So it's just cracker and chocolate with toffee bits on top. I don't think I'd like go crazy for these. They're good, but they're like... Mm -hmm. A lot of the holiday stuff, at least when we went, a lot of the holiday stuff was like candies. Candy and cookies. So It's the holidays, guys. Yep. You're going to be eating a crap ton of cookies. Okay. Jeff wants to set up a display. I'm going to die. Hmm. He's totally not eating more Stilton back here. No way. He didn't set this up as a barrier to block him from showing you that he's eating cheese. Ooh. Whoa. Let's get our um, it's time. feel of bites out of the oven. Okay, so I just took our little phyllo bites out of the oven. I'm gonna leave them here for a second while we taste test some cookies so that we don't burn our mouths. Yep, let it cool off. Here, let's put them in the front. Cool. So you can see we're not sneaking bites. Okay. All right, let's do these. So these are the Candy Cane JoJo's. These are their version of Ori like peppermint Oreos. Sing their Jingle Bell song, it's on the side. No. Why not? It says, Candy canes, candy canes, tasty cookie treat. Oh, what fun it is to make and even more fun to eat. Ta -da -da. <laughs> I did it. So these must be really popular because when we went, there were like three boxes left out of the whole display. I think Oreos in general are really popular. Yeah, but Oreo so, doesn't make a peppermint one. I know, so like a Christmas Oreo, I think. Pretty safe, you know you're gonna like it. If you like Oreos, you're gonna like it. I don't think we're allowed to call these Oreos. Oh, okay. I think these are chocolate sandwich cookies. Oh, okay. <laughs> I used to be an Is that what they're called? When I was a lawyer, I did a lot of intellectual property work. So don't come after me, Oreo. Or Trader Joe's. These are chocolate sandwich cookies. Come on, Oreo. <laughs> make, the, the make the cookie we want. Yeah, don't just put red food coloring in the filling. I know. Come on. I love Oreos, but come on. Dipping it in. These taste like thin mints. Do they? <laughs> these are delicious. Buy these. So if you like Thin Mints. If you like Thin Mints, get these. Let's try those. You picked those out. It's just because it was a Christmas tree. I mean, how could we not get decked out tree cookies? Mm, don't look at the back. Why? Nutrition oh. facts. Oh. <laughs> How many are in there? Quite a few. Looks eight. like eight. Okay. I just want people to know before they buy. Yeah. Well, you know, you know. There's eight in here. Come on, you're going to get these. They're just Christmas tree shaped. So what are they? You didn't say what they are and what's in them. I don't know what is in them. I guess I was just going to eat it. <laughs> Milk chocolate filling, white chocolate drizzle, and festive sprinkles. These aren't regular sprinkles, these are festive ones. Well, yeah, they don't have all the colors, they just have red and white. Mm. Or pink and white or red. Whoa, these are, just, I, need, I need my plate. <laughs> just as messy as sprinkles are. Here, you take some of these okay. so I can have my plate back. Dip in the cookie. Mm. Good? The chocolate in the middle is soft. Oh, it's like a pool of chocolate? Mm -hmm. Does that make it good or bad? Good. It's not like a solid chocolate piece. They've got like a, yeah, it's like a little pool that was dripped into there. Okay, so it did say filling. 
So this is a filling. It's not a... Oh yeah! That's I think the, the star of this is really the chocolate. Oh, like the cookie's nothing special. Yeah, the chocolate filling in the middle is really good. Isn't there a Keebler cookie like this? Mm-hmm. But it's not in a tree shape. If you like those Keebler cookies, you'll probably like these because the cookie part is basically the same too. Mm. Come on, big companies. Make the holiday cookies we all want to eat. No, let Trader Joe's have their shine. They filled the demand, let Trader Joe's reap the benefits. They did. These are cookie mug hangers. They're just little gingerbread guys with a big hole in their legs so that they can fit on your mug. Yep. They're crunchy spiced cookies designed to fit on the rim of your mug. So let's open them. Oh, they're so cute. And they just- They're pretty fun. Fit right there on your mug. There. Just perfect for dipping. Very fun. Let's, if they taste good though, that's the test really. Like it's almost gingerbread, but it's not. It's a, like a ginger snap. Do you know what cookie I'm talking about? Like it tastes exactly like another cookie. It's not a very strong flavor. It's really good though. It's like a spicy ginger snap kind of cookie. Is it the ginger snaps that come in the bag? Is that what this tastes like? I think it's a fun little addition to a hot chocolate. Oh, like I think if you're somebody who likes things like carrot cake and, and gingerbread and like very spicy kind of desserts, you're really gonna like those. Oh, I think yeah, it yeah. might be the right temperature now. Okay, so these are the camembert cranberry phyllo bites. Maybe it's not cinnamon, but my, I guess what I'm trying to communicate is that it's not just cranberries in there, it's cranberry sauce and camembert cheese. The pastry's super flaky too. Love it. Mm, last cookie. Then we have the marshmallows. Mm. I forgot about the marshmallows. Also a good hot chocolate ingredient. Also for hot chocolate. <laughs> We're gonna we should have made a hot chocolate. I know, we should have made a hot chocolate. Then we would have had three drinks apiece. It would have been too many, yeah. They smell weird. Ooh, they don't smell good at all. Hmm. Smell yeah. them. Mm. Oh, they smell weird. It's like, like a sugary smell though. It's like a weird sugary smell. Okay, I can get down with these. So just FYI, these are vegan and gluten free. So they're not made with gelatin, which is maybe why they smell funny mm -hmm. compared to other marshmallows. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's like a marshmallow. marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah, the it's texture's a... exactly the same. Great that they're vegan and gluten free. I think we're gonna enjoy those in a couple hot chocolates. Yep. That's really where they're going to shine, mm -hmm. not just eating them plain. Yeah, I don't like marshmallows just plain anyway. No. S'mores or hot chocolate, that's it. All right, one more chocolate cookie. These are the ones that I was so excited about. Shortbread is my favorite type of cookie. Butter cookies and shortbread, any crumbly cookie is my favorite. So these are the dark chocolate covered shortbread cookies. They're dark chocolate stars. And they look so good. What kind of cookie doubt, you want to split one? No. I'm probably going to break one and a half. They're so little. Okay. I'm kind of cookied out. I am. Look, they're so small. All right. Oh, they're totally covered. Yeah. I like that. It's a chocolate cookie. Yeah. I like the flavor of these. I think what I would like better is more shortbread and crumblier shortbread. Kind of like how I make them. <laughs> mm. I mean, here's the deal. Shortbread's not very sturdy. So to have them in a bag like this, like they come in a bag, and also to put make them sturdy enough to where you can cut them into a shape and put chocolate on them, it has to be harder than normal shortbread, which is not my preferred shortbread. But if you have are, young kids, they could you could totally eat this as a cereal. Comes in a bag to pour it into a bowl, just and everything. Please do not feed your kids this <laughs> cookies as a cereal. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not good for them. <laughs> okay, no one will ever do that. <laughs> we come from a generation of cookie crisp, though. Like our parents <laughs> fed us cookies as cereal. Definitely. But I think they're pretty good. Just I got very excited by them being shortbread, and I don't think that's the quality of a shortbread cookie that I would like. Yeah, it's not crumbly. 
it's not crumbly at all and it doesn't you, you can't really taste the shortbread it's really just like a chocolate delivery device and it's got a cute shape obviously like their little stars with sprinkles on them which is adorable i think they'd be a good addition to like a cookie platter or something or if you're making gift baskets or i don't know you, where you need like small little cute festive shaped cookies for something those are really good all right so wrap it up for the good folks on youtube what was your favorite uh, definitely. Besides the Stilton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite out of the holiday stuff, definitely the creamer. Yes. That was probably, that was that a must get. Yes. And the, um, the decked out tree cookies. They were delicious. I, they were the best cookie by far. In my really? Opinion. I think I really <laughs> liked the candy cane Jojo's, the peppermint sandwich cookies. They were cookies. good too. Those were so good. I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of cookies you like. Well, thank you guys so much for watching our Trader Joe's holiday taste test. I hope you saw a few things that are interesting to you and that you may go pick up a few of these things. If we missed any of your favorites, please let me know in a comment below. Yeah, I would love to try more stuff. Yeah, so. try more cookies. Always, <laughs> always a good thing. And we will see you back here tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye.